dear engineer when all of our design check are done i mean when our structure is structurally fit then we'll go for design so in this session you will learn about complete design process of our model so before starting design we have to change your property modifier as per code so previously already i have discussed with you on property modifier just now i'll simply change it so to change it uh, i will unlock our model then i'll go here select so from here i will go for object type and from object type i'll select columns and click it select so all of our columns have been selected now i'll go assign then frame then property modifier and from here i'll go for uh 0 0.7 for column or property mod modifier will be 0 0.7 0 0.7 for torsion for moment of initia and uh, about x axis 2 and axis 3 then i'll click apply okay so every point of our model we have applied it our property modifier for columns now again i'll close it or i'll click here okay then i'll click here beams so i'll select all of our beams and again i'll go here assign frame then property modifier and from here what will be uh, the value of our beam 0 0.3 0 0.3535 0 0.35 and uh, for a moment 0 0.35 that's it so click apply and okay so successfully we have provided all of our property modifier so when everything is okay everything is okay now we'll go for our uh, design i'll click at design then concrete frame design and go view or revise preferences so i'll click here and from here you have to select design code i mean for which code you want to design you can select any code from here i'm going to design for aci 3 on 8 19 and here multi response case will select all uh step by step all so it's done then uh here nothing to change anything from just here seismic design category so what will be your seismic design category a b c d e or f so you have to select from here okay which one you want to use so we are going for i mean we are going to design for seismic design category d you will be able to find out that a seismic design category of data structure with respect to your seismic zone coefficient with respect to your uh soil type category okay so when everything is okay and uh, no need to change that value from here because uh, we are using a default code from here so that all value will be same and if you need to change any value from here just suppose if you use that on just see uh, they have many option and again if, if you go for that on so here available all value and if you need to change any data from here just simply change it after that i'll click okay so when everything is this everything is okay again i'll go design then concrete frame design and from our select design combination already it's selected so from here already it's selected and if you need to change it you can change that as per your requirement i'll click okay now i'll go for run analysis So when it's okay now we'll go for our next step for design process